34 matches for you, so yeah. you're just looking back on that, and your first year here, just how are you feeling about playing in every match of the season? Uh, it's exciting. It's definitely a milestone in my career. Um, I think the closest I was was either 32 or 33 games, so to be able to, be able to play all, all the games means I was staying healthy, I was being a good pro, and uh, contributing in every way I can, so it's a positive. Uh, I like to think... It was good and, and on my end because it wasn't just you know a few five-minute games here, a few five-minute games there. It's, it's uh, a fair amount of minutes, and that, I like that uh, towards a few not-so-good years. Uh, to have that is, is incredible, especially when it's home. Now transitioning into playoffs, it's been a long time since you guys played a competitive match. How's yeah. that been the last couple of weeks getting ready for Tuesday? Oh, it's good. I think it's been a positive for us. We we uh, we had a few knocks at the end of the season, um, getting some guys back, getting some guys back into fitness like Jordan Morris, uh, which is huge for us and huge for this club. So we're excited that we were able to get a little bit of a break. Um, however, it's it's not easy not playing for you know two two and a half weeks without uh, a competitive match. So we got to make sure that these these next few trainings that we've had uh, have been very competitive. We have to continue that throughout the rest of the year. Obviously, you know of the club's success this time of year, and now you're a part of it. Just what's it like being around the group of guys and the squad this time of the year? You know, it's great. I think these guys understand how to win playoff games. Um, you see it in the training sessions. You see it uh, in the locker room. Uh, and I've been around a few of those teams before, so it's, it's nice to see that confidence, to see that um, that kind of swagger to, to, to know what, what it takes to win games. RSL is a team that you've played a couple times this year. Yeah. What, are you, what are you expecting in this match on Tuesday? It's, it's going to be a good match. Like, I think they're... They're a good team. They, they come out with some, some incredible goals. Um, if, we, if we get on the front foot, I think we can, we can handle our, our business. Um, however, they've got some very good players that, that find ways to find the back of the net. Uh, so we have to make sure we, we have an eye on all of those. And then you started the season just with like emptier fans in the stadium, and yep. that slowly filled up. And now here you are hosting playoff match. Just what are you most excited about on Tuesday? You know, every game that we've had, I think, has just been opened up the stadium more and more, especially towards that beginning of the year when we only had that, well, I think, maybe 25%. Um, so it's been incredible to see the, the group of fans that have just continuously come back in. Uh, and we're hoping that this playoff game, my first playoff game back here at home, is, is going to be you know, just a riot. I can't wait. Uh, I'm very excited for it. Looking back at those 34 matches that you're involved in, what would you say are some of those most memorable moments of this season so far? Um, I mean, there's there's been a lot, right? I think uh, it's it's crazy. That I want to say like I, I remember Raul's goal from half field in Austin, like it was yesterday. Um, it was the worst pass of my life, and then it falls right to him, and he he puts it over the goalie. So I think that's pretty cool. But I mean, I just being in front of my family, um, being in front of my friends, being able to play those games at home at Lumen Field, uh, my first goal was incredible. But the, the the success that we've had through that this year and this run, especially in the beginning of the year, uh, with the unbeaten streak, I think it's it's just an incredible thing towards this team and. Uh, I think everyone will look back and, and see that it was it was a great season. It may not have been the best end of the season, um, but we had an incredible season um, this year, and we're, we're really looking forward to continuing that and making sure that that success in the beginning of the year is, is at the end as well. You kind of touched on it earlier, uh, but what, what did the return of the guys from international break do to um, the energy of the group right now? Oh, it's huge. I mean, those guys are obviously uh, key components of our team. Uh, there's a reason they're on those national teams and, and so successful on those national teams. So we're excited to have those guys back. The competitive net le uh, level has definitely gotten way up since they've been back. Uh, and you love to bring that, right? Uh, whether they come back and um, you know raise the level of, the, of training, but they've also raised the, the quality of morale in, in the locker room. So uh, it's nice to have those guys back and fit and, and ready to go for Tuesday. What is the most overrated Thanksgiving food? Turkey. <laughs> turkey. I'm not a turkey guy. Yeah. Turkey.